Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I know I'm coming in cute with my turbini. In today's video, I'm actually going to take you guys along as I follow Jonathan Van Ness's curly hair styling and maintenance video. I had seen this video and I was like, I am gonna watch that. That is totally up my alley. As you all know, I love his air dry cream. I also have his pre-wash scalp oil. I had done a video on that quite a while ago. It's actually done pretty well for my little baby channel. Actually, I'll link it here for you if you're curious about it. However, when it comes to curly hair, I do have curly hair. However, I don't wear it curly because of one major reason. I can't stand curly hair products. I know that sounds ridiculous. It has been years, I mean years, since I've been able to use a curly hair product that hasn't left my hair like crunchy and has that kind of weird wet look. It just hasn't happened for me. But when Jonathan Van Ness came along with this air dry cream, the game changed for me. But then when I saw his video, I was like, yes. So I watched it and I bought all the products in it. Not only his products, but where's the other one? But also this mousse that I've seen him use in several videos. It's the Authentic Beauty Concept Mousse. And for some reason, I just hadn't gotten around to buying more of his products. But luckily, the Sephora VIB sale was on and I was all in. So of course I picked up his Instant Recovery Serum, which I am loving. The texture of this is so amazing. It looks like it's a cream, but it's actually more of like a gel texture. It's very lightweight, very nourishing. You don't need much of it at all. I think this is an excellent value. I can't remember how much it was. I'm gonna say it around, I don't know, $26, $28, plus I got my discount plus the scent. I love it. And so far I've been enjoying the heck out of it. And actually because you need so little, this is going to last me quite a while. Now he also starts off the video using his Nurture Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner and he used the Nurture, what is it? Deep Moisture Mask. Now I actually already had the mask. As you can see, I have used it quite a few times. I enjoy it very much. Again, another gorgeous scent. Not to mention totally like revitalizes my hair, makes it feel soft and silky. Oh, hello there. But what I ended up doing was picking up this. I saw it in Sephora. This is a complete hydration set. So it had both the shampoo and conditioner in really good sizes. I mean, you can tell from like the size of my hand, these aren't tiny. I've used them once already. I'm gonna have several more uses out of them, but I actually didn't wanna continue using them. I'm gonna, I have a couple little trips coming up, so I thought it would be nice to have this size to take with me. But in addition, the set also includes another hair mask and the air dry cream. So I got all of these for $18, that's what the box retails for. Plus I, of course I got my discount. So for me, it was like, I don't know, a little over $14, totally worth it. I'm so glad to have it because I was planning on getting the shampoos anyway, but it's nice to be able to try them out and see how you like them. Now, I like them very much. Is it better than my Pureology? No, but that Pureology is damn expensive. But I think if I use this several days in a row, I'm gonna get a better feel how it really works on my hair. But just know, so far I am enjoying it. So Jonathan does start off the video saying to use the Nurture Shampoo and Mask. I didn't do that today, but I think my Pureology will be just fine. We're doing curls. We wanted to do Nurture. Nurture has aloe leaf juice. It has ceramides. It also has our gorgeous hemisqualane. Um, and hemisqualane just really brings out the best in all the ingredients that it's with. That's why hemisqualane is featured in all of our formulas. For me, the hemisqualane and ceramides has me sold. I've been enjoying the hemisqualane and his other products, so I knew I was certainly going to love it in everything else he does. All right, so because my hair is probably dry by now, I'm going to have to re-wet it. So let's just quickly mm -hmm, take this curly mess and get her damp. All right, so he wants me to section my hair. I'm not gonna do that in the zigzag part like he does. I'm literally just gonna do like my top up and I'll work on the bottom first. So let's go in with Instant Recovery Serum first. All right. The reason we wanna go in with Instant Recovery Serum first is we wanna balance the porosity of these curls. If you don't balance the porosity of the hair, it's, it's harder for the curls to stay the same texture all over. This is also just giving your hair a big drink of water. I do love him explaining this every step of the way. It makes so much sense, but it makes a difference for really understanding why I'm doing what I'm doing. All right, so he wants kind of a lot on the ends because, well, the ends are technically dead. They need more moisture. So here we go. And I'm just gonna like comb it through with my fingers. I'm not using a comb or a brush. My fingers should work well. His fingers worked fine. He says it later in the video, but that's one thing that people with curly hair don't usually do is put in enough product. You actually need a lot of product for curly hair. And I was really happy to learn that because 
sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm just trying to save my product. But if my hair looks better with more product in it, okay. So when you have real curls and you are, or when you're doing a curly set, you want to really distribute it. So I have this whole entire section and I am really getting this all up in the hair. All right, so he wants me to use that much of the air dry cream. And so I'm just going to distribute it thoroughly throughout all of this hair here. And you know what I should have done? I actually should have gone and done this up here first with my instant recovery serum, but I didn't, so I will do that real quick after I get this all through here. And I forgot to mention, I actually did this to my hair over the weekend and it turned out so good. My favorite part about it, not only did my curls look great everywhere, but my second day hair was great. And I never have a great second day hair when my hair is curly. It just looks like a bird's nest when I wake up in the morning. Even though I do sleep on a silk pillowcase, this, something about using all these products was a dream. And actually, I would like to show you the second day hair. So stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'm going to show you what I do with the second day hair with this whole curly situation. It has our linseed. It has our, which is also flax, and it also has our chia. So those are our natural film formers that are going to make your natural waves really come out to play. I like to do this little thing where I like run it through the fingers so that it kind of like brings out its little like waves. And I'm kind of just like shaking it after I run my fingers through it to kind of get it back in its natural state. All right, so like she said, I'm just shaking it to kind of get my curls and my waves back into their natural state. Trust the process, friends. You literally want to hear a little bit of squelch in the hair. Like if you don't hear that squelch in your curls, it's gonna be frizzy. I can already tell you, you have to have that amount of product in there for it to not get frizzy on you. That was a huge tip for me, hearing the squelch in the hair, which really just tells me having my hair thoroughly wet and like just full of the hair product. Now my hair's not super soaking wet because of me dampening it. I mean, of course that was wet, but putting all of this product in here just is like, giving a big drink of water to the curls because they really need the hydration. If they're not hydrated, that's when they look frizzy. How do you feel like you want to do we it? We can go in like the, in quadrants and then kind of finger curl those front pieces that might have a little less curl in them. And then when you say finger curl, do you like, I mean the way, like when you wrap it around your finger and just, uh, mm -hmm. I, I love really that. I really just like twist it only around the hairline really where it's a little bit more straight because I don't want to manipulate her texture too terribly much. Alright, so this whole thing of like doing the finger curl where your hair is straighter, as you can tell like around my face, those tend to be like a little straighter. I mean they do have some curl to them, but they are straighter. So just taking like small pieces, this is even like a little too big, like small pieces like this and just wrapping it like making a little coil. Now my hair is really long compared to the girl they were doing here. So I'm not gonna be able to like turn them into like these little coils like he was doing. I try, but then they just kind of fall out, which isn't a big deal, but I'm also adding the tiniest bit of the recovery serum when I do it just like he did. So let's continue. Anything that's a little bit more straight, adding a little bit of product to it and kind of twisting it in your finger. Is the Authentic Beauty Concepts Mousse, which we love. And we'll turn her, this is how I try to do it to get it everywhere. I take it between two hands. Yes. Drop your head back from me. Yes. Hands, and we just kind of like pat it on Love it. the outside first and the underneath. And then we'll go in and just like scrunch. Distribution of products throughout the hair is so important for curls. This part to me was fascinating. I actually haven't used mousse in, I can't even tell you how long. She used a lot of mousse on my hands and I'm just going to gently like touch it to the outside of my hair, go all the way to the bottom and then bring it up and squeeze it through. This mousse of course is so lightweight and airy, but it just, it helps with the hold. And I think this was part of what really made my hair be good on the second day. 
what the mousse is going to do is it's going to give you a little bit of like humectant quality. It's going to like keep attracting moisture into the hair um, from the atmosphere. It's going to keep the curls really refreshed. It's also going to give them a little bit of a springiness to them. You can already see how good it looks. Like you can already see that the hair is hydrated. It's happy. All right. So does my hair look hydrated and happy? Now we're going to diffuse it. Now he uses a Dyson air dryer diffuser. I don't have that. You don't need that. If you have it, you are so lucky. I just have my regular old, I don't even know what this is. Maybe it's Conair Revlon, who the heck knows, with a diffuser on the end. So now when you diffuse, Tiffany, do you like to do medium heat, medium speed and hover? And then once I get the outside dry, I'll go in with high heat, low so speed. Do tilty, or, tilty, mm, upside cool. down. Let's go ahead and start. Stuff. This is gonna take a little bit. And I'm not leaving the diffuser on any one spot for any like a long period of time. I really don't want it to get like hot, hot, hot because the hair does not like that. What is going on here? Even though there are heat protectants like in these products, I just want to treat my hair as best I can. So slow and steady is the game. Now I'm going to tip over. That's why we're getting like all the hair off the roots. So whatever hasn't dried at the root is starting to get dry and create that volume. Yeah. Now I like to let my hair cool down before I do anything else to it. So I'm just going to give it like a minute or two. All right. So the girl who they are doing her curls, her hair is more coily than mine. So I'm not going to separate my curls like they do. I like to just kind of take and just like scrunch them a little bit to kind of loosen up any sort of like ringingness or anything that looks, I don't know, a little too much. It doesn't make it frizzy on me. It just kind of like breaks up the curls in a softer way for my type of curl. I do, however, like taking just the littlest amount of the recovery serum, putting it like on my fingers and anywhere where I think that there might be anything resembling frizz, I'm just going to like lightly go over it. Like here, this hair here, she just didn't want to play nice. So we're just going to put the instant recovery serum on her and give her a little twirl. Let her have her life back. All right, so now I can decide if I'm going to part my curls. I don't like to decide what the shape is going to be, like which side I'm gonna part, if I'm gonna part in the middle, until I'm done. Because if I'm feeling a little flat on one side, just bringing the hair over to the other side gives me some instant volume. So I like being able to, you know, just decide in the end where it's gonna land. Today could actually go straight down the middle or it could go to this side. Ooh, she's looking crazy, but I love it. All right, so I'm just going to gently pull my fingers through anywhere where there might be something kind of resembling like a knot starting. I just don't want that. <sighs> Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Anyone else addicted to Topo Chico? Now, if you know me, it is not normal for me to wear my hair this curly. I haven't looked like this probably since college. And I just like having the option to let my hair be in its own natural state. It's actually a little bit more work than for me to give myself a straight blowout, although it's because I'm so used to doing the blowouts all the time. I think if I got back into doing this on the regular, it would go much more quickly, but I like it. I just like having the versatility. And here's the thing, like if you have wavy hair, I definitely think you would wanna give this a shot because the air dry cream is so nice. I think it just gives the nicest, softest curls that last. And using the instant recovery serum with it, I just think is a game changer. Well, actually the hugest game changer is adding this mousse to it. This mousse gives it this structure that lasts till the next day. That's what really, really surprised me. In concert, like all of these products together, the shampoo, conditioner, mask, recovery serum, air dry cream, mousse, I mean, they all just work so nicely together to give me hair that I don't often have. Not to mention, my hair does not feel dried out at all, which is something that can easily happen with curly hair. Now, I'm so used to having smooth and silky hair with the products when I give myself a blowout, but this here is smooth. Well, it's not smooth, <laughs> but it is silky. It just feels healthy and nourished. 
And we used so much product. And mm -hmm. I do think that's one thing that people with all sorts of different types of curly, wavy hair just don't realize how much you really need to use. They're scared. But yeah. But it'll absorb. It'll absorb and do what it's supposed to do. And here he is at the end of the video telling us not to be afraid of using a lot of product because our curls do absorb it. Then to take it out tomorrow, we would just mist with water. And just get, get the hair like lightly damp, nothing like... Not sopping. Right. Okay. Like, like a nice damp. Like you were outside when it was raining and there's all those little beads on the top yes. of your hair. And then you're not going to really, and then you're not really going to diffuse that though. You're just going to okay. kind of like scrunch that in and mm -hmm. like be about your day. Mm -hmm. After misting with water, I would go back through with a little bit. You could do instant recovery serum and air dry cream together. But I mean like a little bit, okay. like a pea of each. Cause on day two, you don't mm -hmm. need as much cause all that product is still in there. You're just reactivating it. Okay. So tomorrow what I'll do is, well, tonight when I go to bed, I just sleep on a silk pillowcase. I don't wrap my hair. I don't put it up. I literally just pull my hair up like this and put my head on the pillow like that. So I'm not really laying on my hair at any point. Um, somehow I'm super conscious of that while I'm sleeping and it works out just fine. And then in the morning when I get up, where is it? I'll just mist with the spray bottle to reactivate the product. I don't need to put any more product in. And actually, I might use a little more of the Instant Recovery Cream if there is any sort of frizziness happening. Hopefully, I'll get to film that for the end of this video for you guys. All right, so as you can see, I'm enjoying the heck out of having my curly hair. It is soft, it is healthy, it's gonna look great tomorrow. So stick around so you can see what I do with my hair in the morning. For those of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm not a professional of any sort. I just love learning anything and everything I can about hair care, skincare, makeup. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like and ring the bell. You know you're gonna come back anyway. Good morning, friends. I am coming to you with, yeah, morning hair, morning voice, and morning face. But I'm gonna show you, even though my hair looks crazy, I can definitely make this into second day hair, which I've never been able to do with curly hair. So all I'm gonna do is just spritz on some water and use a little bit of the Instant Recovery Serum wherever I have kind of like some frizzy. So let's get at this. Now I'm just getting it damp. I'm not getting it soaking wet. I just wanna reactivate the product that's already in there. All right, so I've just given it a light misting all over and most days I would just let this air dry. And then after it was dry, I would just kind of, oh, morning voice. I would just kind of scrunch it up just to loosen up the curls so they didn't look crunchy at all. But for the sake of time, I'm gonna give it just a light diffusing. All right, there we go, lightly diffused. There's still just a minimal amount of dampness, which I actually prefer for second day. I don't wanna like dry, dry it. And I'm just gonna pull my fingers through just a little bit. And then I just play with how I want my hair parted. I can flip it over to this side to give it just a little more volume, which is what I tend to do a lot. I could also use some of the Instant Recovery Cream or Serum. I keep calling it cream. It's a serum. Now, this is just a tiny bit, and that's all I want to use for everything. And I just kind of want to, around the crown where it could look frizzy, I just want to place it so it smooths out anything a little crazy. And under here is where it kind of falls apart for me, but who cares? And there you go. I now have second day curly hair, which I have never had in my entire life. I can't even tell you how much I love this instant recovery cream. You know how much I love this air dry cream because I've used it forever and ever, well, since it launched. And of course, like I said, the Nurture Mask, I've been using this, I've been loving it. And what else did I get? Oh, the shampoos, the Nurture shampoos. I really like those. I'm gonna get them in the larger sizes and continue to use them I'll put my Pureology aside for a minute and I will just concentrate on those and see how they work with my hair and work with my curls. Now I wanna give you one more look at something I also do with my hair, especially for second day when it's curly. Now because it's not normally a good curl, I will brush it out because I do like a big a voluminous soft curl. So all I do is I take my hairbrush and I gently start pulling out the curls. I'm not like brushing it all the way through. I'm just kind of loosening them up with a hairbrush because anyone with curly hair knows hairbrushes are the enemy. But for me, 
it just gives me another look for with my curly hair. So like I said, I'm just gently pulling this all out. I know you're like, what is she doing? Stop. It's okay. Like I said, I'm not brushing. The ends are usually the most problematic. I do have to kind of really pull it through there because I don't want a lot of volume on top and then no volume on the bottom. I really want to keep it like overall a very voluminous. And then the rest of it, I will just take my fingers through just to pull out the curls without, I don't know, giving it that like hairbrushed look entirely. And the funny thing is, as the day goes on, I continue to just like run my fingers through my hair and I think it kind of distributes any oils that are in my scalp and it actually makes the hair look better and better as the day goes on. Now I get it, this isn't for everyone. I mean, this definitely gives like an 80s vibe, but sometimes I just, I love the big soft waves. But since I picked up the Nourishing Shine Drops, I've used them a couple times and I freaking love them. I've always liked hair oils. They've been actually a really big part of my hair maintenance, but these are so different from any of the others. It's very lightweight. It's not like that thick oil that we're used to. It's just this, it's almost watery. It's really nice. And I just kind of pat it around. I don't go too much on the crown. And then I'll just pull it through a little bit. And it just, mm, it smells amazing, of course, all these products do. But it just gives my hair a little boost. Obviously brings back some shine. And just kind of tames a little bit. I love this. Like if you have ever used hair oils and for you they've been like just too thick and too heavy or even like filled with silicone so it really weighed your hair down. Now I don't mind silicones in my hair products but um, oils that are just 100% silicone they don't really work. They build up on me over time and aren't that great. This one here I really really love it. And as you can see, that one dropper went a long way and my hair feels soft. It's a little more shiny and nourished looking, even though my hair is overall pretty well nourished because of everything that's on it right now. That's the thing with curly hair. You could just keep messing with it and messing with it and messing with it because it does take on lots of different looks and styles. Let's face it, it has a life of its own. We're not really the boss of our curly hair. It's very often the boss of us. Now I know that doing this sort of thing is not for everyone, but if you have anywhere from wavy to very curly hair, I definitely think you should try this. It just, it gives you like another layer of what you can do with your hair. I mean, I'm always trying different things with my makeup, but to be able to kind of change up my hair depending on what my vibe is, I just, I haven't been able to do that in a long time and this feels really good to be able to do it. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Are you now like thinking maybe you could take your wavy hair and give it a, a chance to live its life? Or are you like, girl, you're looking crazy. It's okay, I can take it. I seriously have not had curly hair like this since college. This is fun. All right, friends, what more can I say? I love these hair products. I love being able to play with my hair in new slash old ways. And I hope you like it because I think you might be seeing a little bit more of it on my channel. All right, friends, as always, I want to thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you real soon. Mwah.